Hello all and welcome to another video of mine using Excel in statistics. Right now I will show you how to use Excel charts to get the uh, regression equation in Excel. Okay, I will use the same data set that I used earlier in uh, the video where I showed you how to use Excel to calculate the regression equation, right? And that data set actually looks at the relationship between hours of study and the exam score that the student will get. And we sort of try to see if the more number of hours you studied, the greater your score was in the exam. Let me show you now how quickly you can uh, create the regression equation in Excel. There are two easy ways, but one is easier than the other and shorter. The first thing you do, you would go and select in Excel both independent and dependent variable together with the header, hours, and score, right? Then you would go to the insert tab, you'd go to the charts group, and then go to scatter. When you click on scatter, in the submenu, you select the simplest scatter or scatter with only markers. And as soon as you select that, Excel gives you a chart or a plot of the correlation between these two variables. Independent variable is in the x-axis, if you see 0 and 10 is the hours uh, studied, and then 0 to 120 is the score that the student actually uh, got <clears throat> by using uh, the number of hours that they studied. For example, this data point right here is a point of 7 hours studied and 58 score. So that would be somewhere right over here. 7 hours studied and 58 is the score. So that's the data point for this particular pair of dots or values. Here's what I want to do right now. I want to have Excel create a regression line, linear line, in this correlation uh, chart, and also give me the regression equation, which is the intercept plus the uh, slope times the independent variable, or x. And at the same time, I want to find out the r square or correlation coefficient square. I can do that right away within uh, by Clicking on the chart, right, you have the chart tools, contextual tabs open up. You are in the design tab, you don't need to change any tabs. All you need to do is go to the chart layout group, click on the more button to display more charts, and then you select layout number nine. This layout number nine will give us the formula or a, a regression formula. You see this fx right here and the line that goes uh, across uh, the data points. As soon as I click this, I would have Excel give me the formula, regression formula, so I'm going to bring this right here on the upper right side, right, and the line that goes across the, um, the chart, and this is the regression line or the least squares line, right, because it minimizes the difference between each of these data points and, um, and the line. Okay, the first thing we see here is the regression equation. And that is uh, y equals right uh, 3.7808 times x plus 54.651. Now 54.651 is a right or the uh, intercept. This is the point where this line, regression line, intersects the y-axis of the independent uh, or the dependent variable. It's it's somewhere right over here. If this extends. Uh, down here, that, that where we cross at uh, 54 points, right? And 3.78 is the slope, rise over the run, which is the amount of the score increase for each hour um, extra study, okay? Then this is the R square or the, um, the co correlation coefficient squared, right? Otherwise, in statistics, it's called uh, the coefficient of determination because this would explain in percentage, 31.45%, the amount of variation in the scores uh, variable when we know the hours uh, studied. So this is a fair amount of explanation of the uh, dependent variable from the independent variable. Of course, there are more um, factors that could explain the score, but 31.45%, according to this model, is explained by the hours of study, so almost one-third. And then the other two-thirds could be explained by other variations or other uh, variables or factors. The second way 
uh, if you do not want to use the design tab and the chart layout to do the uh, regression line and the regression equation, you have to go to the layout tab in the contextual tabs, in the trend line, click on it, and then go all the way down to the more trend line options. This will open up the format trend line dialog box. You go all the way down here in the display equation on chart. That's where uh, the equation is displayed now, right? So as soon as I check this box, the equation was displayed. I want to display the R square as well, and that's going to come up right here at the bottom, right below it. That's it. That's the R square. One other thing that I want to do here is I want to change the line color to red, right? And also, I want to change the line style to make it a little bit wider or thicker. So as soon as I click close now, I have a thicker um, regression line and I have the regression equation for a second time. So either you can use the design tab and then the, the layout number nine, or you can go to the layout tab and use trend line more options and you can uh, find the regression equation. One other thing that I want to uh, show you, if you see Excel actually uses the formula y equals bx plus a, right, where a is the intercept, b is the slope. I showed you the formula of y equals a plus bx. It's the same formula. It's just that, um, you know, the factors have changed places. Also, in other statistical textbooks or maybe uh, somewhere else online, you would see the regression equation uh, for only one independent variable written down as y equals b0 plus b1 times x, where b0, I'm going to make that a subscript, so I'm going to go to the font group, more options, subscript, click OK, b0, and then I'll do the same thing for b1, font, more options, subscript, OK. So this is probably the formula that you, you will see in other textbooks. It's the, exactly the same thing. The factor that is multiplied with x is always a slope. And the other factor that is not multiplied by x is always the intercept, the point where the regression line intersects the y-axis, or the point where the, in the, the dependent variable value is when the independent variable is zero. Okay, so when independent variable is zero, what's the variation? That is the intersect, right? And the slope is the, in, the amount of increase or decrease or amount of change in the dependent variable for one unit increase in the independent variable. So for example, for one unit increase in, in hours, for one hour increase in study, what is the amount of increase or decrease in general change in the score? In this case, is 3.78 is a positive change, so that it's an increase of 3.78 points in the score. Okay, good luck. I hope uh, you found this very helpful. And um, study more, get a higher grade. Bye.